it's going. Welcome back to a bit more of the Graveyard Keeper. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. We are in version 1.030. Oh. Let me actually real quick look up what that even means, because... I think we were on version 29 before. So, fixed an issue with the mouse scroll wheel in the full screen mode, fixed the bug when a graveyard quality suddenly increases, fixed the gamepad issues for some Linux machines. So, nothing too major from what I am concerned. Alrighty, but I feel like we are nearing the end game now for real. I did not realize that I actually pretty much had to bring everybody to the happiest they could be in order to continue. Also, after the more or less rather abrupt ending last time, we are finally back. So, sorry for that abrupt ending. I hope it didn't disturb too much. But in the meantime... Um... What was it what we needed to do? Help Miss Charm save Wagner from the Northern Fort. I do believe that is currently what we are doing, and for that we brought the Astrologer a gold quality book. So we are kind of waiting until the Astrologer returns. So I was doing stuff in the meantime. I'm not entirely sure what I was doing, but I was doing stuff just to pass time for the most part. So let me also double check whether we have any more bodies to take care of at this point. Well, quite literally, right now we do. We also have the capability of embalming, which is kind of neat. So, I would need to use a gold quality type elixir in order to get this done. And this will be done over time. It's basically just a drip that drips into the body, prepping up the body, making it cleaner. Let's put it that way. So in the meantime, I kind of need to make some more polish bricks of marbles. I think I wanted to make headstones for the graves because I kind of ran out of those. I wonder whether I can make another trunk at the uh, graveyard, but that's not going to be a thing. Also, I will need to make two silver quality statues. And I don't know how many other things I need to make in order to make the marble columborium. Probably, I think it was like 10 advanced or 10 of the better complex iron parts. So we take 6 with us because we can only make a multiple of 2. Huh, I was wrong. I can make a multiple of 3 in fact. So, I do not think we probably need a few polished bricks of marble for that columborium. And the statues. Also, my current goal is to just sleep as much as possible, so we push the other thing along. Everything else that I'm just doing here on the side is more or less just, um, well, using our time until we get our philosopher back the next week. And that is the current plan. So, make a silverstone quality statue, eventually, and just go to sleep again. I think it was only four polished bricks of marble, but I will need the polished bricks of marble anyways for the headstones as well. Also, the body should be done by now, so I should be able to bring it over to the graveyard too. Kind of along the way with this item here as well. So this should hopefully be two silver quality carved piece of marble. They are. I do think they have a, piece, a chance to fail, although I've never actually seen it fail. When it created one thing, it seemed to always create one thing. I think. Not entirely sure. So... Why is there nine complex iron parts in there? Mildly confused. That's okay. Alrighty. 
Just a few more days until moon day. Our body should be ready to be prepared for this section here. Make the body even cleaner by removing the blood and the fat. Then it will be ready to be put into the graveyard, giving us basically as much po as many points as this body can possibly live, give us. In theory, in this case, I could have removed the skull, created one more red skull on the body, but then on top of that used the silver elixir and also infused that, essentially granting that entire uh, body one more pogo point. But as mentioned a few times before, I kind of don't like doing this. Also, we don't have any more fences either, so that's worth noting. Either way, uh, we need to make space for columbariums. I forget how large they are, so let's see. I will need to remove things anyways. Oh wow, it looks like the lag has been fixed. This is a lot nicer than before. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's four by four. Let's see, where is the best four by four placement? Da -da -da -da. So this is four by four, and then I could put a lawn at the bottom. So do we just reserve this entire section over here for columbariums? Is the question. I believe the grades are three by three, so this one here is one, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So this would be actually the exact same setup as here. With two columbariums side by side. Uh, this one here I will likely remove to place another grave here. And then just uh, lawn sideways, the middle sized lawn. That should actually work pretty well right there. So yeah, in the meantime, I would say we do the same setup like here. Removing two of the grace for now. And hey Zyronic, have I been to the town yet? Nope, still get zapped by lightning. Probably. I actually have not tried. So we got another body. But before we tend to that, I want to place the marble columborium. Kind of hoping that I have enough energy to actually build it. Oh, I forgot the urns. Whoopsie. Are you playing the game yourself, Cyronic, if I may ask? Why do I have maggots there? I don't know. The cake is a lie? No, we can make gold quality cakes. It's very good. Although wine is generally way easier to make in bulk than cakes, so I feel like that is way more worthwhile for if I ever need any energy, which kind of unfortunate that I discovered the wine this late. <laughs> because it would have been really, really good having that way earlier. Oh no, there's lag back to an extent anyways. Well it's not too bad. Especially not as bad as before. Also it looks like you could walk behind those archways, but apparently not. So, we're going to probably pick up the body and infuse it with whatever it needs to have. Alrighty, extract the blood. I'm not going to have enough energy to extract the fat, so I'm going to do this. Infuse it with this. Also, let's see, how many more infusions do I have? Only three. I'll probably have to make more. So let me check real quick here. How many do I need to... Or what do I need to craft more of those? can actually just craft more of those right now. Nice. So we're going to place them in the rack over there afterwards. Alrighty. 
one more full day and well basically one and a half days until we can go to the astrologer. Thanks to the teleport stone and also bringing us over to the lighthouse. We don't need to worry about getting there in time. Except I want to go there really early in case we need to complete any other tasks in the meantime that we could complete on complete on this one day straight up. That's the plan. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. So what would I need more? Probably golden elixirs. I don't know how much more gold dust I have. Gold dust I have two more. I would however need chaos extract and toxic solutions in order to create more. Uh, chaos extract was with moths or butterflies. I don't have any of those on me anymore so I would need to grab some more moths and butterflies. But I'm not sure we're going to get that many more bodies. I keep saying that I feel like we're going to get to the end game, but maybe I shouldn't think that. Also, might as well place those here. I don't really have any use for those anyways. So yeah. So I remove the fat. And we have a clean body. Well, it's clean as a body. Can get, I guess. Just contemplating whether I could play something over there, but probably just a lawn in between. Those wide ones at the bottom are kind of awkward, actually, because you can't. It's just only two spaces. Kind of like this is the optimal case, I guess. Maybe. Oh well. Either way, we need to make more marble crosses and also fences. That's the current plan. I actually kind of like how this looks with varying different gravestones. Like, it not being all the same. Again, I'm kind of a fan of asymmetry in a sense. So, now what do I need to make in order to grab those? Marble grey fence is probably what I'm going to go for. So, since we are making those, let's just create like eight of them. And then we create eight. Oh, the other thing is whatever they are called afterwards too. Don't have enough energy to make all of them, but that's okay. I need to empty my inventory anyways. And emptying my inventory I do by putting those here. I guess I did not need any complex iron parts. I actually did not pay attention what I needed for the thing is. Alrighty, after this sleep we should be able to get to the astrologer and let's see what he finally has to say. Hopefully he can convince them to another expedition and then somehow be in time to release Wagner. Well, we'll see. We'll see about that. It's not quite the time yet. I do have the things with me, I do. So I'm putting those here for now. It looks like there are... Huh. Let's see, if I remove the fat and the blood from here... It removes the thing up top. That's a nice detail. Basically, if I put any body parts into the mortuary rack, it will fill it up with those kinds of things too. Kind of looks a little bit morbid, but oh well. Either way, we have plenty of time to walk over to our friend the astrologer. And then, if necessary, we can actually teleport back. Which would save us one way trip in a sense. Potentially, anyways. Depends on where we need to teleport to. Oh, music 
change. Hey, graveyard keeper, what are you doing here at this early of an hour? I have a meeting with the astrologer. And I'm moving... well... In-game time-wise, it takes me like five hours in order to walk over there. Hello! I'm just going to accompany you by getting pushed through the mud. Graveyard Keeper gets more and more restless as he anticipates the arrival of his friend, the Astrologer. Waiting, 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 waiting. Wait faster! Or something like that. Hi, how are you doing? I don't know what you wrote, but my professorship has been fully restored. And I've even been promoted. Oh, uh, the best of all, the Dean signed the expedition papers. But we have a final problem. We need someone with aristocrat papers to accompany me. It wouldn't normally be a problem to find someone, but considering the sensitivity of our situation, it should really be you. Get yourself some aristocrat papers. I'm depending on you. Oh wow, this one too? Wow, it really hinges all on those papers. Buddy, I have aristocrat papers, but not on me. Let me get them real quick. Ah, uh, wait, that will put those into the important chest. I could have anticipated that, but well, I didn't. And greetings to you, Cosmotic, and thank you for the host, Stradimir. And greetings to you as well. How are you guys doing? Welcome to you as well. Well, one, despite you putting frogs into the food box. Hope you're doing well. Hooray, save the frogs. So, I would guess that each of the endgame scenarios requires aristocrat papers, and it, there seems to be three main storylines. They do intertwine a little bit with each other. Actually, only two. It's the bishop and the merchant, and then also the... Astrologer and this Charm and Wagner. Those are two of the main story quests, I guess. It's kind of nice that they interact with each other a little bit. Snake is in there somewhere too, I guess. Hi, how are you doing? I've got the aristocrat papers. Good, everything is prepared. I'll send for my daughter. She will join us near the fort. Well, let's start the royal expedition. We have papers from the Royal University. We need to go to the old archaeological site. You may pass, but I'll have to let Lord Commander know you're here. Oh, there's no need, brave soldier. Let him sleep. We'll talk with him in the morning. Thank you for helping me. Where can I find Magner? He should be in a camp near the road. He has been here for at least two and a half weeks. Looks like the soldiers are sleeping. Good night. It's not suspicious at all. Wagner! Oh, Miss Charm. You shouldn't see me like this. It's alright. I see only your inner beauty. Be quiet. How can we get this cage open? I have some lockpicks. I had a pretty rough view. Then we can get him out of one of the crates. Wagner, what a beautiful name. Miss Charm, I have so many. There you are. 
Hi. You've ruined everything. My son should have been glorious at night, and now we don't need them anymore, so he decided to become a writer. What a shame. You're the only one who blew the passage up. It's all your fault. It wasn't my fault. We need new calculations after the Great Blast. I think our golden angle wasn't that accurate, so... Ah, excuses. I know that something is going on. First this creature, then your expedition. You are all traitors, and you're probably a witch. I'm with the Inquisition. I'm undercover. You can kill me if you want, but release my daughter. Father, I cannot leave without my father and this young man. I have connections at the court. Can I just leave, please? <laughs> the court! I'm the king's uncle. And I'm his son, Wagner. Oh, shut up! I'll admit Wagner is, of course. Oh, it's a great disappointment that this is too much for even him. I can prove it. I have birthmarks just to the left of my tail. It should be somewhere around here under my fur. You know, I'm just gonna kill you all. No bodies, no problem. I can help with the bodies, Lord Commander. Wow! It's so it seems that this is the end. Forgive me, my daughter. I cannot change what I did, but right now, you are everything to me. Father, this is the best day of my life. I found my father and my love. Wagner, let me kiss you. Wow, this is just kind of straightforward. My son! What? Yes, father, it's me. You nearly killed your own child. But I forgive you. I have to deal with to offer you. I'll become a knight, but you have to let everyone else go. <laughs> that sounds fair. As for you, old man, we're not done yet. But for all now, he, all of you can go. Wagner, don't be sad. We'll be together soon. Here, take this necklace. I think it belongs to you. I bought it using my father's name. I wanted to make it a surprise. Hmm... That's an interesting storyline. Everything's to have ended up well. That's weird. I don't know, my young friend. I think we still have a lot of problems. Wagner is alive and safe. Come, come along, father. I want you to show me where you live. And you, thank you for everything. Is there anything I can do for you? That necklace. I need it to back, get back home to my love. Mm. Seems like it's already helped me. I hope it helps you now too. Here, take it. Oh, I, young man, have managed to get a golden angler from my old stuff after all. It's yours as we agreed. Thank you. You look like your mother. But I'm as smart as you are. Haha. <laughs> Uh, and also, whatever. <laughs> I need to close my window real quick, guys. So that was a thing, I guess. What do we need to do next? Hmm. Alrighty. Ah. <sighs> Activate the portal, which you know, craft the spirit lace to switch on the portal. Is that all I needed to do? I probably need to do more. So, astrologer is 100%, so is Miss Charm, and probably also Wagner. I say probably. Where is he? Nope. He doesn't like us that much. I guess he does not necessarily know our involvement. So, how many more things do we need at this point? Let's actually talk to the astrologer. Maybe he has something more to say. I assume he's back here. It is still moon day. Hundred percent with the donkey. I can't talk to him. He doesn't let me. He always delivers the body and immediately runs away. He never stops. I need 
fireflies. Thank you. I spotted one on the wing side there. Actually, it's just going to it. Bye! Well, I guess it's time we go back home. Do I have all the items that I need? I wonder what happens if you have the full inventory. Probably just get the items afterwards eventually. That would be awkward. So let's actually go to the sweet home. Um, with me. Just in case I meet them, I guess. Maybe if you let him fill up your maximum capacity, we'll stay until he clear corpses. Possibly. Probably. I think he just doesn't come, though, when there's no car carrots. Actually, if you fill up the maximum capacity, I think you it just doesn't bring in any bodies. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see. So we need the eternal burning coal and the endless notebook. We know how to get the endless notebook, but the eternal burning coal, I would need to talk to the Inquisitor yesterday. Did we have any more tasks to do with the Inquisitor? Maybe. So, uh, one quick question. Can I bring the golden apple to the snake? Is that still okay, or would that be too quick? I need to wait some more. Like, I don't know which one is his last task, so to speak. So let me pick up this mess here. Put into boxes. I can finish Snake now. Oh, I see. I've already done everything then. Because I didn't really do anything else with Snake. I'm past the point where I need him for other quests. I see, so you basically what happened to you is you didn't interact with him before interacting with this charm particularly much. Gotcha. Something very similar would have happened to me, actually. So, the last one will be the Inquisitor with the eternal burning. We just leave those things here for now. Including the faith. Do I need the faith? Maybe I need it. Put those here. You can't get the restoration tools. Devs are aware of it now and try to fix it. Right, that makes sense. So. You know what? I don't think this body is necessarily worth that effort. Oops, so I'm going to burn this one. I would have been a lot of in materials invested. Not that much of a result. I guess I'm going into economics now anyways, even though I said I'm just going to treat all the bodies with dignity. Well, burning is not the worst. In fact, I'm going to, they're going to end up in the Marvel Columboriums anyways. So, it's not a bad thing. Apparently I've never analyzed the uh, Marble 2 thingies. Alright, so we are waiting now for the night towards the snake day. Should 
which means before placing this last thing here, I will need to go and sleep. Again, the main goal right now is to just drive time further, or advance time further, as well as we can. So this means... So this means we just kind of need to try and not be silly about certain things. This Sunday, so we could hold another sermon. Again, we may need a ton of faith in order to go through the portal. Don't tell me. So I'm just going to hold the sermon despite not necessarily worrying about it much. Let's put it that way. Just have reached over 500. Hi, how are you doing? I feel like that so about the cathedral should be gone by now. You know what? I have so much money to burn. I did not mean that as a pun, but hey. Looks like the Val candelabras give plus four, whereas the regular candelabras only give plus three. So that's kind of curious. Alrighty. <clears throat> I would like to say some words. Our church is great. Don't bother sitting down, but done already. And let us pray for the blessing and good night. Have a nice day, and until next time. Well, it means we are going to collect some more. We have ghost twisting, guys. Yellow bubbles. Nice! Oh. That was interesting. Alrighty, um... Marble headstones it is at this point. I don't think I need the highest quality headstones, honestly. It's just not necessary. Because we don't have that many high quality bodies. So let's just craft the ones that are kind of nice. Marble cross, plus five. Uh, I'll make marble pens too, so anything... I guess if we get a body that is over ten... I wanted to make eight, I see. Uh, if we have a body that is over ten, then we just can go and create specifically a greystone for that one body. Although currently it doesn't look like we will have any bodies like that. Where's the marble polishing? There it is. Inventing clickbait for servants. Wow. Is that really necessary, my little friend? Let's just use up the thing to create. Oh, I made brick of stone rather than brick of marble. Again. By accident.
So, uh, Miss Charmer should be here the next day. I'm actually going to be curious what she has to say, so I would say let's head over and ask her about stuff. Reminds me of this judging how the sermon went. Can't click it unless I... Unfocus the game and stop the music. Kind of don't want to do that right now. So we still have the chisel. Ding, 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 ding. You gotta get co people come again next week. I mean, I feel like they just like looking at the interior of the church because it looks really nice and also the exterior. So that should be sufficient to make them come back, right? Let's also make three strong crosses because why not? Might as well. Because we have everything we need for that. In the meantime, let us go over to the dead horse. Hello, how are you doing? I know I don't have any more questions. I think I still have some jewelry I could sell her, but... Oh well. I would have to take them with me. So, I kind of wondered whether... Hi, you're a different guy now. How are you doing, sir? Eh, hey, that luck's not today. I wonder whether he's ever going to be important. I kind of forgot about him for a while, and it doesn't seem like you can ever interact with him in any capacity. I greetings to you, Noko Beast. Welcome. What do I think of this game? Is it a grind fest? Is it true? It really depends on how you approach it. Like, if your goal is to get through the game as quick as possible, then yes, it is quite a grind quest. But if, let's say, you compare it to a game like, well, World of Warcraft, where it will take you hours and hours and hours and hours to get to the max level, and if that is the, is the goal and you try to get there as fast as possible, that's also a huge grind quest. But you could also just enjoy the journey. So the way I ended up playing this game, without trying to spoil too much, is I just did stuff without necessarily caring about doing any quests or any goals. I just explored, I did a few things here, a few things there, and I really liked the game. I basically approached it a lot like Stardew Valley, where I only basically did what I wanted to do for quite a while, until I decided, alrighty, let's try to actually push for the story to continue and be finished eventually. And for me, it basically has not been much of a grindfest at all, honestly. Again, it can be very much a grindfest if you are trying to just get through it as quick as possible. But hey, maybe you're also someone who enjoys the content. I really, really like this game. I think it's really good. I hope that answers your question. So, in short, I guess, it can be a grind fest. It really depends on how you approach it. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it certainly is mine. Oh, okay, that's a little bit awkward. Oh well. Let's drink some wine and get ready for more, eventually. Doesn't seem to be the type of game for that regard anyway. I mean, it can also be that you're just the type of person who is compelled to do as many tasks and as many quests and as many things as well as you can. And if you try to do it that way, it just ends up you get stuck here, you get stuck there, you get stuck everywhere. Because you need to actually have enough points to do the research, then you need to have enough. It can basically hinder your progress one way or another. But I was just curious to explore and do stuff, which, oh, 
that's how it worked for me. Okay, I need a bit more space so I can pick up that last cross. What do we put in there? Yeah, polished brick of marble. They exist there around here, anyways. Honestly, for me, this entire game has just been having the a similar kind of vibe as Stardew Valley, just a bit more mysterious, a bit more interesting plot-wise, maybe a bit more goal-oriented, generally speaking, but just overall really fascinating for me. This grave isn't in not good shape. So let's fix it. I think this one... Yeah, we would need a simple gravestone for this one. Just to... Make it a bit nicer. Doesn't bring us a whole lot, but a little bit. Same with this one. Same. Actually, this one here could use more, but... Oh well. We have to cross those, so let's just use them. I might just make some statues with the Reaper and the Angels for fun. It's not necessary. But it's fun. <laughs> Could also make some more rip headstones because why not? So the day is the merchant's day. Well, it was actually in the night to the next one. Snake is going to be around, so I need to grab my golden apple and deliver it to him. That's the current goal. times where it will just swing your sword to sleep and advance time. I did not even consider that. Yeah, that's fair. There's our snake friend. I have my golden apple right in here. I've gotten the golden apple way before, but I was told that you could potentially softlock your game state if you advance the story past a certain point too early. And actually, uh, one, I was already past that point where it could have locked when you told me about it. Oh, we only need the silver injection this time. <laughs> Snake, I missed you. Aww. Hello, how are you doing? I got a golden apple for you. Give it to me. I'll just lick it. I don't want it to have too much. I don't want to have too much knowledge. You want to lick it too? No. Okay, thank you. No, I'm not into licking things. Ah, now I understand what the last line of the ritual was about. The final ingredient. I finally know what the heart of the ancient curse is. I need a dark heart. Where do we get one? Hmm, it's connected to the ancient curse somehow. The last living specialist is in an inquisition cell right now. Just get close to the Lord Inquisitor, try to find out more about it. Ah, uh, sure. I, I don't like 
giving me a heart, but, well, we don't have all that many things else to do. So, Inquisitor Day is just the next day, actually, so won't take too long. And yes, that definitely makes sense. I appreciate the heads up, Don. Just drink some wine. Wait. I'm a bit drunk. Guess it's already over here. Hello, how are you doing? Let's extract some blood, making sure that the body is nice and clean for putting it into a grave so it doesn't have as much bad odor on the way. Licking the golden apple would have given you a hundred blue points. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's pretty cute that it actually it does something like that. Nice. Let's make more marble reaper statues because why not? So basically that golden apple gives us a ton of knowledge, so why don't we just eat it in the first place to know everything? Maybe it's to become intelligent rather than gain knowledge though. So I guess it's a possibility too. Yeah, you need him for other quests, but basically if you advance all the quests about equally, it should not be a problem. Which is probably also why they didn't catch it in the open beta. So I need to make some silver star quality pieces of marble. And actually a bunch more of the complex iron parts means this is going to be 7, 14, plus 8 is 22. I was way off with my 22. Whatever. I actually have yet to make any nails from building other stuff aside from the main thing is. So, good night. So next day is Inquisitor's Day. Just going to work a little bit on the graveyard. Making some more happy statues. I need to get to the Inquisitor sooner rather than later. Just to make sure that... case he has some more quests to do that I can finish them as or some more things he wants so I can finish them as quick as possible. Also I'm going to take the aristocrat papers with me because that seems to be important for quite a few quest lines. So, at this point I would say, I've been mostly successful with trying to avoid stuff that is not all that, well, nice to do with bodies and also with the subsequent body parts. Outside of the game forcing me to do certain things, I actually only ever used ash in order to create some fertilizer, which I actually, did, actually didn't absolutely need. For some reason I thought I did have to do that. But that was just me derping. It happens quite frequently, there are at least two or three new steam threads about it daily. Oh wow, that's pretty extreme. Yeah. 
I definitely expect them to have that set to be a rather high priority. To be soft anyways. Okay, let's make... So should we make a reaper or an angel statue? What do you guys think? Or maybe a plinth? Because I don't think I've made a marble plinth before. Which one should we make? What is your opinion? I'm just going to make a reaper statue and then go to sleep. Actually, not sleep for too long because I want to go and be there for the Inquisitor. So only about until it's dawn-ish, right around here. One says a reaper. Of course you do. Reaper looks much nicer. Well, not really. Reaper looks a lot more slender, while the angel seems to be rather bulky. <laughs> Cremation isn't really questionable. Yeah, but what do you do with the ash afterwards? You could say it's kind of questionable. <laughs> Angel statue looked so big, you don't like that. Yeah, that's fair. Mr. Inquisitor! I could have slept the entire time. Hi! Did you see an Inquisitor somewhere? Like, he usually wears a weird kind of robe and a silly little hat and he has grey hair. No? Okay. Maybe you have seen the Inquisitor. Hello! How are you doing? Um, don't lose your head, please. Um, he usually stands right around here on this day, but I don't know when he starts standing here, so, yeah. There he is. Hello, how are you doing, sir? Hmm. I'm missing something. I was actually kind of fearing this would happen. So, I'm missing a step somewhere in order to gain the Inquisitor's trust fully. Do I have to create hamburgers? Is that a requirement? The music is pretty amazing. You think you know what you're missing. Could you direct me in the correct direction, if I may ask? And hey, Rekko and Actilus, welcome. How are you doing? Doing quite fine over here. It's actually halfway a shame that the music doesn't play all that much, unless you specifically interact with him. If it's the hamburgers, I need to figure out what that other way of getting meat is. Apparently I still don't like it. And when you see you, Rat Hazard, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. I already guessed it, it's the hamburgers. Alrighty, there's a second way of getting hamburgers. How do we do that? What does it involve? Feel free to tell me straight up. Like, obviously we could ch The problem about hamburgers, for those that don't know, I need meat. The only way I know how to get meat right now is from extracting it from bodies. Which, again, I want to kind of avoid the ethically questionable stuff, if I can, but we already had to do certain things. You don't know if there's any other way of getting meat. Hmm. I think Meriden yesterday mentioned something. Is there a butcher? There is not. There is a salesman for chicken and cattle produce, but they don't actually sell meat. Okay. Alright, let's do it this way. Graveyard Keeper. Um, 
Soylent Green? I don't know what that means. Uh, not meat stamp. No, why would I? I don't want the stamp. Here we go. Can you not also buy it from the barkeep? I don't think so. Frog meat? I mean, we could sacrifice frogs. I don't like it, but it would be better than digging up the bodies and using that meat. Let's see. Where can we get this? Or not? Let's see. Oh. Apparently, we can get it from frogs. All right, I'm running over to the witch. So, from what I can tell, we can get it from the witch. Uh, we can get it from frogs. In fact, it's three. Frogs per me thingy. You can't save the frogs in the game, but you can save them in chat. Yes, indeed. Still better than digging up bodies for it. Again, this is another situation where I kind of do appreciate that the game gives you other options too. So that's nice. Frogs are the only other source of meat. Yes, indeed. Hi. Let's trade. I'd like to buy some frogs. Balsamic solutions. Oh, I know what to use that for. Chaos solution order. Which solution did I, did I need to make? I think it was chaos. No, actually not chaos. Toxic? Was it toxic? I think it was toxic solution that I needed. So I'm sorry, Froggies. I have not learned how to make meat out of frogs, however. How do I make how do I do that? Let's see. So I'm just looking at the uh, froggies, what they would give us. It doesn't actually tell me how and where to make them. You don't remember ever getting a recipe for that either. Yeah. We have all the recipes. Can you actually make it in your game one? As in, can you check that real quick? I 
I need to make two times burger, which means I need a total of four, uh, eight baked meat, which... How much sliced meat would I need to make baked meat? So one per two, so four total sliced meat, which by the way, it's three frogs per slice. So I would need actually 12 frogs total, I only have 10, so I wouldn't get this this week anyways. I also would need red. Uh, I don't have any duff. Let's make some bread. Nope, you don't have the recipe for it. Okay, maybe that's a leftover from when there once was a thing for it. I mean, the wiki tells us about it. But I don't know whether anyone actually has made meat. The wiki also only tells me how to get frogs. Only packaged meat, yeah. The thing is, we make the packaged meat. Packaged meat. But I don't know the flesh. Well, why? So I'm actually going to research a little bit more on this. Let's see. Too bad the music doesn't continue playing. Let's see. Graveyard keeper frog meat. Uh. Let's see. How did you get the recipe for slice mock free? You don't have the option to do it. You got it. I got it when I first got frogs. Same with the recipe to the clean bloody nails. So maybe I need to catch frogs. Like instead of. Um. Yeah, maybe. Oh, oh, you stay. Maybe I need to catch frogs instead. So let's bring a few bees with us. Maybe that's the key. Oh, I'm already too late. It looks like time actually passed while I was in that menu over there. I hoped it wouldn't. Well, that's okay. I'm sorry, my dear froggies. So where was the fishing spot over here? Down there. I think I need to go through the swamp instead, though, instead of over the bridge. <laughs> I mean, at least I managed to avoid ever using any human flesh. For that matter. Alrighty, let's start fishing. That's clear that it goes from right to left. It makes sense, but it's weird. And we get an eel. Alright. So, not exactly what I'm looking for. I may have to use some box in order to bait the frogs. What do I val value more, frogs or corpses? Corpses. Frogs are friends, not food. But at the same time, they are pets, so I feel more comfortable doing that.
Okay. So we get eels from this. We need to use different bits. Um Okay, apparently I can't use bees as a bait. So maybe I have to use something else. Let's go back to the home real quick. So we have the bread. Let's put those here. Froggies, you stay here too. Well, try to stay here anyways. Um, take the maggots with me, I guess. Oh, maybe I should have used the other fishing rod now that I think about it. That would have actually been the difference too. Yeah, I should have tri tried the other fishing rod first. So we leave the bees here. Corpses are friends and food? No, not for me. Thank you very much. Just leave this here for now. But corpses are already dead, whereas you'd be killing the frogs to make the burger meat. Is that not more ethically questionable? <sighs> no, I don't think so. I actually have not really good answer to that. Well, I mean, I'm not with it in the first place. Hmm. It's kind of curious. Oh well. Hey, there's footsteps. Someone has walked through here recently and also made the same mistake of going over here first. Dum, dum. Hey Sultano, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Dum, dum. Didn't I take wagons with me? didn't. Derp. Let's see. Alright, we have a 50-50 of catching an eel or whatever the other thing is with the basic fishing rod. And we get a tilapia. Not what I'm looking for either, so what can we use as fish baits? Why did I not take the maggots with me? That's just silly. Do I have the teleport stone ready? No, I don't. Would it be different if you saw the meat slash frogs of people that burn other humans alive and celebrate it? Eh, no, I don't think so. Reaper statue and grab the maggots. So, leave the fish here for now. What else do we have as fish bait? The lure apparently doesn't do anything good for us. Maggots would kind of make sense to an extent. But so would butterfly and moss for that matter. Oh, what it also could be is that we can only catch them at night time. So that's a possibility. You think for higher tier fishes you need moss slash butterflies. Butterflies actually didn't let me select it. Wait, I don't have any butterflies. I thought... I could have bet that I had butterflies and moss with me. Okay, and there's some moss. I would have bet I had some of those on me. Apparently I didn't. So 
So I'm just making some space in my inventory here. I wonder if I can destroy this thing. Nope. Did I say bees? Oh, I had bees, that's true. For some reason I thought I also had moss with me. Wait, where are we? Mm. On the bright side, we don't have to walk the entire circle every time. I mean, realistically, buying the frogs from the witch... They wouldn't have a much better fate over there either. So... Huh. Now I need to use my cousins too. For this kind of catching. That's just rude. You found the biggest issue with this game where if you have the best fishing pole you can't catch fish. Or can't catch frogs. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit strange, isn't it? I'm too slow. Oh my goodness. Which is why I took both fishing rods with me, by the way. Let's see, it should go for a regular rhythm here. Two, three, 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 four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Got it. Froggy! I'm sorry, Froggy. It will be for the greater good. It's actually quite egoistic if you think about it. <laughs> you deal with everybody the Inquisitor, the Devil. Well, well, the representation of the devil, I guess. In order to just get home. I did not realize those were hip hop cross. I, th I thought those were just be the regular flowers. I think some warden fishing rods would have been more effective. I don't know what warden fishing rods are. Are they just smaller? Basically I'm waiting here because I need to buy some more froggies. One more actually. Guns? Oh I see. Dynamite. Honestly, it might work on fishes because they die from the shockwave, but I don't think that necessarily applies to frogs. I don't know though. I'm not eager to find out. Hi, how are you doing? I'm sorry, froggies. I wonder whether you can actually eat that golden apple. There it is. Yeah, we had to catch one. I only need four. The remainder of the froggies can live in my pond or something like that. Um, considering that I don't have a pond nearby, let's just release them at the river. 
I know it says destroy, but I'm going to release them at the river. Come on. Be a little bit imaginative. <laughs> Maybe I should go to the swamp. Mm. Who knows? Whee! Bye froggies, have a nice day. That's an odd way to handle recipes. Yeah, it is. There's not even an indication that they can do something new now. It's kind of strange, I would say. walking through the benches today. I appreciate that, because the benches are supposed to be solid. Thank you guys. It all goes towards consuming a golden apple, or something like that. Did not eat the maggots. But we eat the maggots. I don't have any more carrots, so I guess that's why the donkey doesn't come around anymore. Probably should plant some more. <laughs> God is good, God is great, welcome to church, now get out. Your donations are welcome. Yeah, something like that. I mean, honestly, I'm glad they keep it nice and simple. It's basically implied that, of course, a ceremony is a bit of a la larger thing, etc. So, I'm okay with this being that way. So, we need to cook the meat. And let's make some more random statues. Also, what kind of perks do we still have to unlock at this point? Let's go for Surgery. Which, Surgeon, the dead won't sue you, but you still need to be careful. You have to reduce the chance of making a surgical error when extracting important parts. Which... I don't think I've had any surgical errors anymore at all. Stone Prayer Station. We could actually look whether this might something be interesting for our graveyard, honestly. In fact, let's just go and see whether we can put something interesting over there. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. A prey station? Yeah! I mean... Yeah? A stone prayer station. Apparently I could have made a wooden prayer station all along, and I just never bothered. A lantern. It's two glass and four simple iron parts. Alright. Also, what do we need for the prey station? A uh, silver quality book, a uh, piece, car piece of marble, and a polished, four polished brick of stone. Alright. If someone could write that down, I'm going to forget about it. Probably. But on the other hand, just doing stuff to do stuff at this point. So we need to make a silver quality book. This should make a silver quality book. A bony prey station. Oh my goodness. So I need at least one carved piece of stone. For that I need a polished piece of stone and for that I need some iron chisels. And then I need four more br br uh, polished bricks of stone. So five total. This one is going to be the fifth one. And then we carve some fancy stones. Didn't I already have some? I may have had some. 
So, ah, I did have one. Ha! Oopsie. I don't need to pick up Ross anymore and these other things. Leave this here because we are going to make stuff of it anyways. Speaking of leafing stuff here. Yes. I need to make gold quality burgers, don't I? So I just need gold quality onions. So, turns out, gold quality onions were kind of necessary after all, so I did not make them for no reason. Just for the wrong initial reason, I thought. How many do I need, anyways? I forget. But I'm glad we put at least onions into the burgers. Considering that on those medieval times, they probably don't have much other seasoning. The PlayStation Portable? <laughs> or how we call it, the Bible. I only need five burgers total. So, put the remainder of the burgers in here. What else do I not need anymore? Maybe study frogs? I guess I could have studied frogs, but well. They are free now, most of them anyways. Well I guess saying most of them is probably a little bit uh ambitious. So let's make actually not an angel statue anyways, just to balance things out a little bit. So, didn't I have a body? I forgot about it. No, I didn't, because we don't have any more carrots. Right. Frog burgers might be a delicacy in some places, I guess. Yes. Probably. Doesn't mean it's any good. Delicacy just means it's kind of fancy. Whether it's good or not, I don't know. I feel like higher quality type of... Let's say food. Station. Yes, okay, it does replace the flower beds. What a shame. Either way, uh, higher quality types of food, or the fancy food as I like to call it, I don't feel like it is all that like good usually for me. I feel like you kind of need to have an understanding of food on a different level than what I do, in order to be able to really appreciate it. Well, I guess, in short, I'm more of a fan of the simple kitchen myself. That's that. So, stone prayer station. Let's see... Flower beds give us plus two, stone prayer station give us plus six. Well, actually only plus four. Twice as good as flower beds, still not all that great. That's okay, we have one now. And finger or pingo? Either way, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to Search Prime. Welcome to you. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. Alrighty, what else did I need or want to make? Marble flagstones. 
So four pieces of marble. I don't even know what that means. And a lantern, which is four simple iron parts and two glass. So four pieces of marble and four simple iron parts and two glass. Dun, 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 dun. Do I have enough glass? Probably. That's one glass. Is there any simple iron parts on there? Is there any glass on there? You know, the easiest way to check whether I have glass is by doing this. Uh, no, I don't. So I actually need to make some glass, which means I actually need a little bit more river sand, curiously enough. Um, let's go and grab some river sand then. Most meat tastes the same, really. Uh, I kind of disagree on that a bit. Like, I just happen to really dislike lamb. And I prefer chicken. Although, beef can be really good too. So how much did we have? Five? This should be a multiple of five, that's good. Either way, I like the simple kitchen. A French friend always says, frogs are not worth being cooked since they have too little meat for how much effort you have. Yeah. Again, it's just what I like to call fancy food. I don't... Not to uh, say it's bad or anything. It's just kind of like, it feels like it's just supposed to be fancy for the sake of being fancy. Oh, it's a multiple of six. Oh, that's okay. Like, fancy food is just very exquisite for the sake of being exquisite. Doesn't mean it's bad. In the least, it just means usually you have to put in some special type of effort into getting it. And it can be very special and intriguing as a dish too. So, I need four simple iron parts. So actually, might just make eight because then I can put a little two lanterns there. Aha! Uh -huh. Chicken and turkey are flat out the best, low fat and tasty. I like chicken a lot. Turkey, I'm actually not much of a fan. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's too sweet for me. So let's see, lantern. I forgot the marble. And lantern are pretty much the exact places as the flower beds. You know what? I like flower beds. I'm only going to uh, try and figure out where. It. I'm going to replace this one, and then where could we set the other lantern? Here. Let's see if I do this. Um. Let's see. I do this we have one two three one two three so that's two graves on top of each other and that would be one two three and then there's the thing in the middle one two three so it actually would be quite fine to make another set of graves here if I do this way so let's get to it that's okay didn't I have a body no I didn't because I don't have some carrots I see, actually I did not even know there was a difference one. And hey stalker, how did the race go yesterday? I made some gambles and they did not work out. And thus, we are kind of done with that in the end for now. That's okay. By the way, I would like to point out that it's way easier to make those lanterns and uh, prayer stations and they give me the same amount of points, which is curious.
It's kind of neat how this ends up just kind of working out anyways in the end. Interesting. I never even knew that. Maybe I mean one and not necessarily the other. For that matter. But I just didn't realize it before. Alright. Time to collect the onions. They've been ready since a long, long time. But I just didn't really feel like I had any more use for them. But now I kind of want to put more carrots down so we can pay the donkey. Not enough energy. So use Pete as fertilizer. Wait. Then we plant Pete as fertilizer. Then we plant some carrot seeds. Yeah, it makes sense, man. Again, I know that I don't really like one of them. Which is interesting to think about now that you mentioned it this way around, because... I remember being kind of surprised that I did not like that meat at the time. So this could just pretty much explain as to why that is. So, we stock up our little booth over here with some burgers. Hopefully that is sufficient. It seems like everything's ready. I should let the Inquisitor know. It's actually quite curious that I could advance the... ...quest. Well, at least part of the quest without any trouble anyways. Body composition and diet affects the taste a lot. What is a dimorphism, if I may, so, may ask? But yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, there's a very special type of beef, if I'm not mistaken, where people just rub the cattle with a ton of beer every day or something like that, of that equivalent. It's kind of curious. So what else could we make? Um, I don't know. Some rip gravestones, just to fill in some spaces. Males and females have relatively drastic differences comparatively to most other animals in any case. That's what you mean. Alrighty. Thank you for the explanation. So it would make a lot of sense that they would taste also very differently. They also look quite different. Honestly, I have no recollection right now on how turkeys even look. Thinking about it. That's kind of curious. So, okay, what can we do until the next day? 
run in circles. Oh, didn't I have a... I do. How many more can I make? I did fill up on those thingies here. I like how you can just hold down the F button and the character just automatically moves to the next interactable thing. So if you never let go of the F button, it's actually kind of difficult to get anywhere. <laughs> I was just thinking, if we end up actually getting home with our little graveyard keeper here, at least the next graveyard keeper should have it easier, so I'd like to prepare a lot of materials for him to use. I'm pretty sure this is not how it's going to work, like logic-wise or in the end. Or, more specifically, we'll just never know. But hey, we had a pretty rough start until stuff was set up and going. Maybe the next graveyard keeper will have it easier. Hopefully I don't need more than just a bunch of rocks there. You know what, I should actually just go ahead and buy a bunch more frogs just in case. I think that would be reasonable. Also, if we don't end up needing them, we can just release them. Hooray! You only know that yourself because you had a conversation with an American about it, related to Thanksgiving once. And we were both talking about turkey, but actually meant different things. <laughs> Interesting. Kind of like... Hey, did you know that pepperoni, in basically German-speaking regions at least, is what you know as bell pepper, or pepper. But... Essentially, we know the pepperoni, the... English users know as pepperoni to be salami. In German we don't generally have a distinction for a separate word for salami, just different types of salami specifically. But they have dif uh, differentiation between pepperoni and salami, which is different types of salami for us over here. So Essentially, I've always wondered when, in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon, the turtles absolutely loved pepperoni pizza. Apparently, the translators of that um, cartoon, to translate into German, did not realize it either, that it's actually supposed to be salami. You think way more countries know pepperoni as bell peppers? It's mostly English-speaking countries that refer to it as salami. No, 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 you don't refer to the bell peppers as salami. Or did you actually mean that? Germans do tend to be the ones that get confused. It's just basically because it's such a weird kind of difference between the two. Mm -hmm. Hi. Do you happen to have some more frogs? I'm buying them all, because why not? Also. Buy an apple seedling too. Did she just downgrade for some reason? Because I'm pretty sure she started getting higher up there too. Oh well. It is time. To talk to the Inquisitor. Finally. Let's see what he has to say. You mean the English-speaking countries refer to pepperonis as a salami type? Right, I mean, I, I, I think we are talking about the same. Mm -hmm. 
pepperoni is an American thing. Fair enough. Hey, my mystery meat is made out of four-legged slimy creatures from the swamp. Hi, how are you doing? Everything's ready for the next burning. No, don't actually burn some. Oh my god. And we're just sitting over here. Beer, fresh beer. Beer washes all away all sins. Juicy burgers, sweet as holy ecstasy. Wow. I'll take two. This is the best burning I've ever been to. Mmm, that tasty. Smoky meat. Haha. <laughs> Not a hot dog. Nope, it's a burger. The town will be talking up for a month about this burning. Whenever you're ready, we should put on repeat a performance. Just get your tent ready and we'll be in business. You earn 33 silver selling... Stop ping! <laughs> Hi. Do I have to wait until next week? Could we just remove that thing here, please? Oh. I got removed. They played some football. So... I guess I would need to talk to him later? What else am I missing? missing now. How do I advance the Inquisitor's story further? This is the stupid part about progressing the Inquisitor. Is there something I need to do right now? Or do I just need to wait? And make more uh, fancy gravestones. Let's make more fancy gravestones, because why not? You need to repeat selling burgers and beer for, you think, three weeks. Oh. I shouldn't have released my froggies. I'm sorry, froggies. Oh well. I mean, not much of a choice, do we? Uh. Hey, that old sword might actually come in handy. You only figured it out, out yourself because you used it as an income to get 12 gold. I see. Does this one count as the first week or are there going to be three more? Which means we need a total of 20 murders, probably. Or 24. Which means... I'm so sorry, I still need to use more froggies. You think two more now. But this was only the first week. Which also means I need to make some more duff. To make more bread. have any more polished bricks of marble. Basically I want to continue until my 
just all disappears, which it literally just did. Okay. So now we go ahead and need some more polished pieces of marble. <laughs> Am I going to sell three weeks old burgers next time? Sure, why not? I mean, apparently food does not decay in this universe. So... As good as any other meat? Probably. I need simple iron parts for this. I'm pretty sure I will need this eventually, but not now. I'll probably forget bringing it with me next time, though. Mm -hmm. Did I create a thing? Oh no, I didn't, because I didn't have enough materials. Oops. I also ate several week old carrot slices myself. Yes, I guess I did. You don't ever need to eat or drink or have a circadian rhythm yourself. Circadian rhythm? I guess that refers to the regular rhythm most people tend to have. Also, let's put the uh, slimy fish. Into a random box where I don't need them. Like right around here. Just to free up space. It's a regular sleep schedule? I mean, what is a regular sleep schedule? Carrot slices are called carotten schnitzel. No clue where they get the schnitzel from. I mean, schnitzel most likely refers to a form of cutting. Right? That would make the most sense. And you cut the slices. So it's not actually that far off, is it? Like, how you usually go to sleep around 7 in the morning? Well, I guess someone like that would work in the late e afternoon, deep into the night. Or, well, be awake anyways, if not working. So let's not let the froggy wait for much longer and not know what is going to happen. I'm sorry, froggies. I need to make more beer. Gold quality beer. Uh oh. I do have some wheat on here. Good thing I'm thinking of that because I have to deliver both. Also, good thing that creating beer or crafting beer really doesn't take long, so that's a big plus. So, fertilizer, just in case I need more wheat, which I don't think I do, but well, better safe than sorry. Okay, 
you know, no heads of form of cutting. I mean, schnitzen refers to basically uh, sculpting, and it's kind of a form of cutting. So that's kind of why I figured. I don't know whether you know that in German, but it's certainly a thing over here in Switzerland where it's kind of that's a word you actually use. So that might have a similar origin. How did we I think I still have some onions over there. So can take seven more with me. So, we only make the highest quality beer. I may have to get some more hops actually. Oh, we'll see. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and plant more hops if necessary. Booze! The English term for schnitzel is a cutlet. Yes, that sounds about right. Uh, go call it the hops, please. We let the uh, remainder of the grapes just on the vines because apparently they don't rot. They don't rot either, so it's kind of convenient. Oh, I still have the uh, apple seedling. Don't I need sticks for that too? Actually, no, I need peat. Also, it is a Sunday, so let's just go and hold the servant real quick. Isn't it time for the Axtiago Monthly suit? Yes. I decided to make it on the technically second Saturday of the month rather than the first one. Kind of like I, I'm going to go forward. Because I felt like I needed a little bit more time to prepare and figure out things for various things. Especially since it was a pretty heavy month about doing lots and lots and lots of stuff this month. With all the mini marathon streams and uh, essentially linked to the past uh, streams, stuff like that. Eventually, I'll get pushed out of bounds, and then I'm going to regret it. <laughs> Must be some very ripe grapes you grow there. Probably. Probably, yeah. Mm, let's actually see how, quick. how many do I need? I do need two sticks and three other things. Two sticks and three of those. Hey, that works out perfectly. Frees up that chest from the peat. And I can plant a tree. For some reason, I thought there was only one space left here. But hey. I just needed to remove the sign by digging it away in order to have that going for us now. So, making beer right now. Next day, I need to go ahead and buy some more froggies. I'm sorry, froggies. On the right side, we do have already enough burgers for the next day. So, I kind of thought I don't need most of the tools anymore. I'm going to keep the shovel. Oh, that's almost... <laughs> that shovel is almost used up. May need the hammer still. 
pickaxe. I don't need the pickaxe anytime soon anymore. Axe? Probably not. Just so I will have more space in my inventory. Grapes, I'll just place here. I could put them in the other chest, which would be slightly more appropriate, but it doesn't really make too much of a difference. We have 10 beers. It's going to be 30 total with this, because I don't think we have a chance to fail on the gold quality beer. Put sign down. Planting tree. Do not touch sign. Remove sign. Of course. I actually really like this little lighting effect there. Wow. That looks pretty neat. That looks actually really awesome with those lamps, honestly. I really like this. Actually, I really like this. Nice. Didn't I have... Nope, apparently not. I thought I made a fancy statue already. Not yet. It's very important to show that the tree is under construction. Of course. Alright. The donkey smells the cats from the town, so that means he will now come by again. Right, now we need to make some Grim Reapers. We make some more Grim Reapers. Maybe I could make a sermon for welcoming the dead. Maybe that actually improves the qualities of the bodies that are coming through the next week. I mean, might as well, really. Since we are kind of just waiting until the Inquisitor is around. going to just keep the burgers and the uh, other stuff in inventory. I don't think I really need the energy anymore from those at this point. Just going to put them in here. So yeah, actually let's make try to make the highest quality prayer for Welcome the Dead. Prayer for Repose, which means we just need a gold star book. How do we make a gold star book? Oh. Just need gold star notes and a little bit of luck. How do you make gold star notes? Well, I have in gold star chapters. Wait, chapter, uh, whatever, you had it had backwards. It's okay. Du -dum, du -dum. Just need to make three chapters. Oopsie. I still have a bunch of gold stories next to the bed, by the way, that are not here. So I'm not going to run out anytime soon. So this, in theory, has a 10% chance to fail. Let's see. I've not ever seen it fail like this. Is it go uh, today going to be the day? Nope. All right. In this case, we have a prayer for repose. Well, let's use that next time, just because I'm actually really curious how that's going to work out for us. I'm going to put the comma prayer in here, and we just happens to have another body. Draw. Hey, salutations! Welcome to you, Ruff. How are you doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I hope you're doing well. Wait, I have an alchemy rack now. I could just put stuff in there instead. Mm -hmm. 
No more good. Too strong. Okay. Uh, this should require a gold injection. Will take a while. That's okay. We can craft some more fancy statues in the meantime. More reapers. I'll probably make one more angel too, though. Then after creating that reaper, we go and tend to the body, and then <laughs> put it into the graveyard, and then we just move on over to the witch. I should stop being so efficient, because I need to just waste time anyways. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's fine. Exclamation mark rump in order to train. Jared, do you have anything else to say? Oops, hi. Nope. <laughs> See you later. Did I make any fences? I think I did. We don't need a reaper for this, but we can make one. <laughs> I should make a stone reaper over here, actually. Just to have a nice little symmetry going. That's a like one, actually. Let's do that. How are you doing? And you got some more frogs for me. How nice of you. Thank you. So, quick question. What did we need in order to craft uh, gold inducing thing to induce gold into the bodies? What were the recipes? Because I already forgot again. Because we might just be able to buy stuff from her. Actually, I could just go ahead and check it anyways. I could have checked that while I was down there and never got Whatever. That's okay. We still have five more. Save the frogs. Wow. Five frogs saved. Hooray. Rough is too strong for you guys. Doo -doo -doo. Muscle memory. <laughs> I wanted to check out what I need for the other thing is over here. So we need a uh, toxic solution and also gold powder. Right. I don't have that much gold powder anymore. That's the problem. So it was toxic solution. I was actually correct on that point. And toxic solution was the red mushrooms. All right. I'm just going to go to the mine then, I would say. But before that, I'm going to create another Grim Reaper thingy. Stone Grim Reaper this time. 
I need some polished bricks of stone. I don't have any anymore. And I need a chisel for that. And I need more iron parts for that. So we currently have... How many does it need? Three. We have one. Plus one is five. Plus... Let's to the body first. So the next day is Inquisitor's Day. I already have the, some burgers and other things that I need. I wonder whether I need to go ahead and place them there before or whether after is sufficient. So put the chisels in here. So I need some more polished stones for now. How many did I need? One? Was it just one? Oh wow, this actually only needs two carved pieces of stone, which we do technically have. But I need the reaper. Well, I guess I don't need it. I just kind of want to make it instead. That was actually really quick to lose all my energy there. Our graveyard keeper just taking power naps all the time. So, got the stone sculpture. Let me actually check real quick. I did take this. Alright, I did analyze it. Theory, there should be another body arriving in just a second. That's a really fancy body, by the way. There's any other time anyways. I even noted that... Oh, the shovel is about to break. I then I forgot about it again. Good job, Brain. And there is the other body. Do I have any marble? Angels so far? I don't think so, actually. So let's place the stone sculpture here. And I need more fences at this point, too. Ooh. 
I need a few more bodies for the Columborium anyways, so this is okay. So yeah, let's craft some more fences in the meantime. Marble grey fence. Five more. Maybe it's on time, I should just count how many more I need anyways. Sorry, Frogis. Okay, today is Inquisitor's Day! I do have burger and beer with me. It's kind of curious that I could basically quote unquote waste all the beer into it and it didn't stop me. It's a similar kind of concept on how you can waste all the peat into one single spot and the game just lets you. Kind of curious. Seems like everything is ready. I should let the Inquisitor know. Indeed. Do we have to burn witches? I guess they are burning witches regardless of whether I'm here or not. So there's that too. But I guess I am contributing to keeping up that stupid tradition. Because people actually enjoy being here. Or something like that. Everything is ready for the next burning. Oh my god. Stop! Oh boy. The town will be talking about this for months. Whenever you're ready, we should put on a repeat performer. Just get your tent ready, and we'll begin our way. Yep. Sure. I'm oh, sorry. And hey, Alison. Enjoy your lurking. Welcome. And for that matter, welcome to all the lurkers. Enjoy your day. So we have a bunch of graveyard fences. You could imagine that they are Harry Potter witches and are fake king getting burned. I don't think I've ever gotten that far into the story of Harry Potter to know that they would ever do that, honestly. <laughs> Interesting. Then again, by now I could have just started reading the books about 500 times at this point. Hi. We get some more stories. I've just been too lazy to actually start reading. Or more specifically, actually. It's not really just about being too lazy, although that is certainly part of it. But it's also basically part of it is that... Right, mushrooms. Part of it is that I just don't have a particularly good opportunity. 
mean, I used to take the train for half an hour per way to work and back. That's when I used to read a lot. Now, since I'm basically working from home, well, there's not really much travel time there. It would take me longer to figure out the page where I left off. Hello. I'm my audio froggies. You evil, evil witch. And toxic pollution. You like to read while you eat. Sounds pretty good to me. It's just for me, I don't eat particularly long, so... It's like less than five minutes usually. But it sounds like a good idea too. Especially since you can just finish a chapter. Also, if you are... Like some people I know that just eat too fast. Like it's literally... They, they should really not eat that fast. It's not good for them. then it actually can be quite helpful to just slow down your eating as well. So, two more golden elixirs. Also, we could make more silver elixirs. You don't even need to craft this thing, you just instantly make him. Bonk. Actually, you need to craft a tiny little bit, but almost instantly make them. Slices. Stuff I don't want to slice. At least it's not humans, I guess. Okay, we have six burgers. That's enough for one more. If I get four more, which I think I should be able to get. Let's not let the froggy suffer in my pocket for too long. Oh, I actually need two more froggies for that. All 
Alrighty, what do we put here? Marble sculpture. Sure. Let's actually make a stone angel as well here. I kind of wish you could remove the marking so you could actually see a graveyard just the way it is rather than having a point value all over the place. Let's make another stone angel and put it on the other side. Then we need to just have, yeah, two carved stones, but that's it. That used to be really expensive for me to make any carved piece of stone because faith was so scarce. No, well, it isn't anymore. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. Did I just miss the Inquisitor's Day? Did I just miss the Inquisitor's Day? I think I just missed the Inquisitor's Day. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm waiting on, and I miss it. How? I'm a huge derp. I'm sorry. Oh boy. All the hope is that the next Inquisitor stays all it needs. Also, did I have enough beer? I do. Oh my goodness. Seriously. <laughs> Hopefully it's not three in a row. Eh, that's highly unlikely. I don't think there has been anything sequential in this game so far. But that's a fair thought. I have a new mouse now. It's a Logitech G403. Some people recommended this to me and it looked like it would be somewhat fitting from what I'm looking for. Hey Eldrist, welcome to you. Hope you're doing well. Compared to the MX thing, it is. Oop, I accidentally clicked outside the thing. It is slightly smaller, I would say. The form is about the same. It's reasonably comfortable. Okay, let's use the stone sculpture here. How to put it? Doesn't have as smooth of a surface, but. That is probably to its benefit, so you don't slip off as easily, although I never had a problem with slipping off. Um, other, aside from that, I didn't have it long enough to say much more about it. Alrighty, let's use the prayer for repose. Ad advertising, all the seized are welcome to your graveyard. 
indeed. So basically, we should get less faith and less money now, compared to what we did get before. But I don't know whether this means there are going to be more bodies now at a time. Uh, there's a timer now? Okay. I don't know whether there's going to be more bodies now at a time or what the deal is about it. Interesting buff indeed. Doesn't give me a tooltip for it. Huh. Does this last one week? It's 54 minutes one week. Yep. Probably. <laughs> the time reverse call doesn't seem ominous at all. Yeah, um, about that. So, I'm actually going to do what one didn't really suggest, but kind of made me aware of. That, well, sometimes you have certain things that you feel like you're never going to use anymore. But, in kind of weird and strange ways, sometimes you do end up having use for them again. So... Where is it? There it is. Sword. Energy consumption 2. And the entire point of this is now to... Waste energy. And go to sleep again. The fast forward method, yes, indeed. I mainly do this because I missed the previous uh, Inquisitor Day. So let's actually just talk about the mouse in comparison. I have them literally laying right next to each other. So I think the form is slightly nicer in the MX whatever number it was, 5118 or 518. But well, that's just me. It just kind of happens to fit really, really, really nicely. But this G4 whatever thing it is called actually fits really, really well as well. Like, it just seems to lay really nicely there. Um, it's slightly smaller, which actually not as comfortable in a sense, although not horrible. Did it ding ding ding? I think it ding ding dings in the evening. I'm just practicing sword fighting now guys. I like how it sometimes costs me 4 energy for some reason. I wonder whether this is actually always two energy, but it just doubles it up because it didn't have enough time to display the remainder of the energy. Take that, bad. I just had a silly idea. So let's see. Doesn't that necessarily look like it improved the quality of the body? I don't know that for certain though. So when is the meeting? The meeting is going to be in just about 48 minutes from now. Meeting shouldn't take too long, so... Well, I always say it shouldn't, but they can take quite a while. So, but I might be able to stream afterwards again. But... Question, feel free to answer this one. What does this buff even do? 
Like, it doesn't seem to deliver more bodies. And the bodies don't necessarily have to be higher quality, although that could just be variants. I'm not sure this time, yes. And I'm pretty sure Ryus, Wook, etc. would kind of poke their heads into the chat in case I actually miss it. Worth noting that not even half the time has passed, but almost half the week has passed, which means this probably lasts longer than a week. So basically you could probably stack up on multiple buffs at a time, which means I could make a prayer for good harvests. And will probably be quite reasonable too. I mean, this actually is not a bad body at all, so maybe it does improve the quality. Who knows? Hard to tell. Oh, I don't have any more places to put stuff. Um, here we put one. This is for the Marble Columborium. We could also put another Columborium here, but I'm probably not going to burn that many more bodies. So this means... Probably going to remove those here. I think this would be yeah, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then I have only one in the middle, so actually it doesn't fit particularly well. If I go for Marble Columborium here, then... Well... No, there's just going to be wasted space pretty much no matter what. That's okay. Mm what the uh, buff does, I guess. That's unfortunate. Actually put the uh, fences around here first. Five. We only need three more. Does this give three? Yes, it does. Let's have a rip stone here for once. According to the wiki, if that's more correct one, effect, donkey brings corpses with more white skulls and red skulls. So basically just more skulls overall. Thank you. So it probably was not just variants that I got the many skulls there then. Makes sense. Thank you. Don't let me miss the next Inquisitor's Day, please. <laughs> it's going to be actually only just one and a half more days, I think. What does the time wrap at the top mean? This is how long this buff lasts. Apparently this means that the donkey is going to bring bodies that have more red and more grey skulls. Uh, which basically means I can transform those into higher quality in the end. For, well, having a higher quality body type in the graveyards. That's the entire concept. I don't have any more silver thingies. Can I make more silver thingies? The skull, yes. It's basically prayer for repose, it's, it's called. Where you essentially pray for 
feathered bodies or something like that? What does repose mean? That's a lot of silver injections at once. Dun dun dun. Fight our way back to our bed. And apparently, I'm just moving sideways now. Just wasting energy so we can sleep for longer. In case you're wondering what I'm doing. Maybe I should look into embalming sometime. What do I need for the thing where it makes bodies basically last permanently? Uh, this uh, embalming fluid holds the body's decay. I would need preservative, which I have no idea how to make those. Mm, am I going to die soon? Oh no. <laughs> no no. Um the skull at the top is the buff. It's actually a good thing. Essentially the donkey brings higher quality bodies over to our graveyard. Both red and grey skulls essentially. That's what it does. That's the prayer for repose. ended up being... Oh, actually, you end up dying anyways. You might be wondering where I'm going. I'm going to visit my friend here. Oops. <laughs> no, no! I'm sorry. I'm going to defend you, my friend, from everything that may or may not come towards your way. See, nothing happened to you. Okay. Good thing I didn't use up all energy. Went to do something, but repose more or less means to be at rest. I see. Thank you. I like that. So next day is Inquisitor Day. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss the Inquisitor Day. I have burgers and I have beer. Cloud, welcome. How are you doing? Can be used as a noun or a verb. Okay. Didn't I have? I guess I didn't have. 
body there. For some reason I thought I had one. Um, I guess on the way to the Witch Hill, we can go ahead and... Harvest our hops. Because we may or may not have to... Oh wow, that's plenty. Make more beer. That is indeed plenty. see you, Mafias. Welcome. Hope you have a lovely day so far. By the way, I would like to point out that I never ended up having to analyze this thing at all. Like, I can just see what kind of thing is I need, but so oh well. It's going okay. All right. Mr. Inquisitor, could you walk a little bit faster and maybe come every day instead? That would be lovely, actually. Hi. Everything is ready for the next burning. At least we get the good music. Even if it's not a particularly pleasant event. Here we have some new frog burgers. They are only about three weeks old, but apparently still tasty. And some random beer. It's pretty good quality though for some reason. By the way, we can clearly see now that time actually indeed does stop. Hi. Okay, we need at least one more looks like so we need more froggies. Sorry froggies. There's a lot of red mushrooms here. I thought I didn't realize that last time. There's no way I can remove it. Okay. Alrighty. We're going to waste the energy, sleep take care of the body that is going to arrive, then wander over to the witch and wander back over. I finally turned evil here. No. The witch burnings are just happening anyways, even if I'm not watching. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I don't have a choice in the matter. It's a bit unfortunate. I don't have more beer. Alright, I guess let's just leave the hops here. I do also have more wheat on the way if necessary. The sleep thing seems annoying. It would be nice if you could just sleep for however long you would want. Or maybe even advance days to a certain point. That would be kind of convenient too. Like maybe make it night and that costs like one gold. Because you would not want to invest into it beforehand. But like time travel device. Just sleep for as long as you want. Which, how much of time travel is that anyways? Dun, dun. 
Let's see, do I have anything else I would want to unlock? Actually, I just realized one thing. You know how there is still that question mark, question mark stuff left here? Maybe that is tied to the quest in the end, and I should just save a bunch of blue points in order to keep those. So I'm not going to randomly invest the blue points anymore, I'm just going to keep them. Maybe keep making some more graveyard fences and stuff of equivalent value. still buy blue points from the astrologer? Good question. Let's check. Free Elder Frogs! Hi, how are you doing? Uh -huh. Hello, my young friend. What a bloody fine day it is today. <laughs> I haven't felt so alive in years. My daughter is about a bit upset about all that love stuff. I understand. I've decided to help my friend repair his lighthouse. It's a lot of work, but I'll be glad to be helpful. That's nice. He has a lot of money, by the way. But hey, we also have a lot of money. And... Wait, repair his lighthouse? It's broken? He never told us it's broken. We could have helped repairing it. We're all too late now. Oh well, now we can get to walk back. For now. Just have a bit of more sightseeing tour. Actually, what I kind of wanted to test is... Well, I don't have enough energy to test that now. You know how in Stardew Valley you can clip out of bounds by just repeatedly slipping your weapon or the scythe? Because it moves you just a little bit forward, but it doesn't check for collision with loading triggers. Well, I was wondering whether there would be something of that equivalent that you could do here too. Where are we anyways? It's in the middle of town. Well, the village. The town is down here, technically. Ah, could I go through? I need a town pass. Oh. I guess I don't have a town pass anymore, do I? That's interesting to think, but... Hello, what do you have to trade? Oh, he actually makes the fancy urns in the end. Can I sell those to you? No, it's unfortunate. I was just wondering whether I could just... Buy stuff from him, sell it back to him, and buy it again. Just to lock his last tier. And that's okay. 75 more blue points. Just like that. I don't necessarily expect to need them, but who knows. I can only try it once. Yeah, I didn't realize that... You would need another town pass in order to try again. Is that the countdown to the next witch burning? No. <laughs> this happens just to be a different kind of skull. This skull is a prayer for repose. Basically the donkey bringing us higher quality bodies is the concept and idea of it. We need more wheat for those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So, we only have two more graveyard fences, which means either make new ones, or alternatively just burn the remainder of the bodies at this point. Although we do have plenty of statues for that matter. That's a lot of frogs. <laughs> no, frogs are friends, not food. Although this kind of game is pretty rude. I bought it. Maybe this is basically until after the next Sunday, the timer. Or it's just a little bit beyond that, who knows. So yeah, I think I'm going to just go ahead and burn the remainder of the bodies. So I'm not going to use the prayer for repose anymore. Just going to use the other prayer instead. Because we will also need to complete our columborium. How many? Three more. A ripstone would be fine, but let's add a stone cross instead. Getting pretty full in here, indeed. I have another idea on how to make the ice go by a little bit quicker. Go up into the quarry and just hope to get a bit more gold. That way I could actually make the interior of the church a bit nicer overall. this time. 29... 69? No, 50... 60. Basically 60 uh, silver right there. It's pretty impressive, I would say. technically do have a choice but this is the better of the two <laughs>
32 indeed 32 rums thank you so much Ruff for 32 rums in a row support I really really appreciate that welcome back to you no, I'm glad you enjoy your stay thank you for a, a really long time of continuous support and also I would like to point out anybody watching if you like this graveyard keeper series maybe you would like to watch it from the beginning our friend Ralph actually has highlighted, thumbnailed and put all of those into a collection for viewing. So if you'd like to just watch this entire thing, have it in the background for listening to it while you're doing other stuff. There's basically an entire playlist now on Twitch up. Just up there above the channel is a collections tab. And that makes it rather easy to view. I did not bring my pickaxe. Am I French now because I'm eating frogs? I'm not eating the frogs, I'm just preparing. Frogs are still my friends, but sometimes you have to bring sacrifices. For the greater good, that is. Thank you, Ruff. So yeah, thank you very much, Ruff, for putting a lot of work into it, honestly. Which has playlists? It does indeed. It's called Collections. I just realized I actually did have a sword for once. I could have killed the bats if I wanted to. Recently, I didn't really have any swords along the way anymore because, well, I just. They were not around, okay? Why not exporting them to YouTube? Well, I don't get any money on YouTube, for one. But I am also exporting them to YouTube. And creating a playlist there as well. <laughs> Twitch playlists are actually not that bad, I would say. I mean, it's just not how YouTube and responsiveness from YouTube works, but it's more of a getting used to it thing, I dare to say, rather than it being bad. At least in my opinion, honestly. So, we have 14 burgers? 9? That's one too few. Enough, so it would mean I would need more frogs. Your videos get deleted after a month. Well, I mean, if you highlight them, they don't. The past broadcast does get deleted. Twitch player just doesn't load properly and stuff with every couple moments. I don't have that problem though. But yeah, if that's an issue, that is really not pleasant. And I still didn't take my pickaxe with me. Derp. Hey Morgito, welcome. How are you doing? stuff into the basement? I think it was the basement. Probably. There's my pickaxe. Mm 
Um, yeah, making beer is really easy, and we have plenty of hops for it. Waiting real quick on the donkey to deliver another body, though. You know that others have that issue too, because you ask around to make sure it's not related to your internet being able to keep up. Actually, I dare to say it's technically your internet not being able to keep up, but I think the issue is less related to um, your internet being bad, and more about how you have to draw from Twitch server, so to speak, that may or may not be in the vicinity. Or more specifically, it being around. I'm not sure how to explain this, but the basic gist of it is that in order for you to get connection to the Twitch servers, they have to be in reachable locations with a high enough proximity and speed. My internet speed is really good, but once in a while, it just happens that the connection to the Twitch servers is really bad anyways, and I can only watch it in really low quality as a result. Or, well, basically not watch it at all, for that matter. So it definitely is an issue about that kind of stuff, I would say. Your biggest issue with Twitch are 1080p 60 streams. Your browser simply can't handle the bitrate and you have to reduce it to 720p 60. Yeah, that makes sense. At least if the streams do have the options for you to reduce the bitrate, it is still quite fine. I'm going to see you, my Rizu. Welcome. How are you doing? definitely not preferable and remember casting a long video and just kept getting ads. Yes, I do know that. It's pretty annoying. If I'm subscribed to the person so I don't get the ads, it's okay. But it's just like, it feels like every 10 minutes there's an ad. Like I understand it supports the person, but the person probably originally did not play those ads every 10 minutes right there. So it just kind of makes it really awkward. Your workaround for when people don't export their runs to YouTube is to download their highlights. Yeah, that probably works better. And yes, Twitch Prime won't remove ads for too much longer. Which is pretty unfortunate. I never had Twitch Prime because I just can't get Amazon Prime, it doesn't really exist over here, apparently. I actually tried. I don't remember exactly what the issue was anymore, but there was some problem with it. For me to create the Amazon Prime account. Finger guns, Amazon. I mean, it's a for-profit company. I think from an economical standpoint it's a reasonable decision, even if it's not all that happy for us. On the other hand, you can also look at it from a slight... well... No, not really. But what you can try is to just kind of see a little bit of positive in it anyways. Like, maybe it encourages some people to subscribe to certain other people which they otherwise wouldn't, just because so they don't get to see the ads. That's kind of a bit of a huge stretch though. Like, basically my mindset is maybe it might support the streamers, but I think aside from the really big streamers that have thousands and thousands of viewers at the time, and people just exclusively watch that one person, that's probably not going to be a thing.
you can't connect your Twitch account to someone else's Amazon Prime account. I mean, sure, you can't do that, but then it would not be my Prime account. Um, being able to actually order from Amazon has become better in Switzerland, however, in recent times. Hey, a gold nugget! Nice. Like, I used to be just almost exclusively not be able to order whatever I wanted. But at this point, there's certain items that I can actually get at this point now. Rather than it just being, sorry, but we don't deliver into your country. So it's gotten slightly better. But still, a lot of those are just... Well, the simpler version is getting it off eBay. And Amazon Prime would have been nice, like, no delivery cost. And I normally pay like 24 bucks for any item that I just import to here. That would be kind of nice. But that probably is why it does cost that much. Maybe. I mean, I don't order that many things anyways. Only out of necessity, like the mouse, I had to replace. So in 10 minutes, I have to go ahead and get ready for the meeting. So I'm actually going to speed through this day as quick as I can, just to see whether we finally can progress in visitor. And then hopefully after the meeting, we manage to maybe go all the way. I don't know how much there is left, and I would like to not know, so please don't tell me. Just saying, that's her plan. The thing, funny thing about the way Twitch gets around that some ad blockers is pretty intrusive. It literally pings you and bombards your browser until it finally accepts it. But if it doesn't, then you just have a bunch of garbage. I actually never had that trouble. Well, I guess I've not really used uh, ad blocker on Twitch since ages anymore. Twitch and YouTube are the two pages that my ad blocker has whitelisted. Haven't really whitelisted anything else. My timer just told me, hey, it is time to get ready for the meeting. Actually, there was... Let's put it this way, there was a time when I used to use Adblocker on Twitch, but... At some point, it's just like, you know, I'm using the servers on this site for so long. It's kind of really only fair to just have them get their cut from the ads, considering that I may not really pay any much else anyways. So it makes sense to me. To just or it made sense to me to just remove the ad block. Just in case, I'm going to take the aristocrat paper with me. Do I have enough burgers and beer? I do. No, I don't quite agree with this one. It's a business. You have to survive somehow. And you also want to make profit. It's not a charity. Or a non-profit organization. So it makes sense. Mm 
Hi. Dark, dark days for humankind. I have two pieces of news for you, one bad and one good. First, the bad news. And sorry to say, it, but there's a chance our king is possessed. He's been talking too much recently about humanity and human rights. I had an audience with him, and he told me that it's not okay to just grab people without any evidence and burn them alive. He is right! So we need to put our little burning on pause until we can bring him some evidence. But here's the good news. I know where we can get this evidence. Not long ago, we were torturing, I mean, interrogating a witch. She swore up and down that she was innocent, but just after her death, a big ghost that looked like a chicken with red eyes appeared above her. Chicken with red eyes? And it told us that all our cruelty and injustice to the innocent have awakened an ancient curse that soon our dead would arise and seek revenge. Sounds like witchcraft to me, but we decided to ask someone from the university about this ancient curse. We had one of them in the next cell over, in fact. He told us that once, the terrible curse was laid upon the town, and it was coined by an ancient contract. The first sign of the curse's return should be dark magic organs inside corpses. We'll need to gather them. Dark heart, dark brain, and dark intestine. Find them in corpses and bring them to me as a evidence for witchcraft for the king. No! Here are some old notes. Maybe they'll help you. Extract dark brain, dark heart, dark intestine. Well, I was kind of right about this, huh? Cultist, everything has meaning. You can see the gray skulls and red skulls of body parts. Three hundred blue points it was. Extract dark intestines, plus four red skulls and plus one gray one. I can make this real quick, right? Just take up a body. I don't have that much time, but I probably have that much time. The dead will arise. Maybe you should have dropped the bodies into the river so they arise elsewhere after all. Now, the dead are fine, probably. So I have exhumation permission and I did start exhuming various graves here. So I need to remove the fence. The marker. I wonder that I need more than just one. Body, that is. Dark intestines, does that cause evil heartburn? I don't know. Oh no, <laughs> it doesn't have them. All right, all right. Um, hang on. I have a silly idea. So this body here has been literally nothing. This is my last hope to get this done before next week. This body has had literally nothing, and we found it at the graveyard, or at the burn house or behind it. And it does not have any dark intestines either. So, too bad. Well, maybe it's going to be freer if we just burn it instead at this point. But unfortunately, this will probably have to wait until next week.
And that also means I probably want to have more bodies now. So, more carrots for our carrot munching donkey. Wait, I had two bodies here. I wonder whether the dark intestines only start appearing once. Once we have those abilities to see them. Oh. So this means there's going to be a whole lot more body burning going on very soon. And we need more carrots. I exhumed the body of the burned house. Yeah, I wanted to give it a nice place. Basically, just kind of, kind of have some neighbors. And I also repaired its thing and put its original cross back there too. Is this? this is on PC. I think it's also on other platforms, but I don't actually know that. Okay, don't have enough carrot seeds. That's okay. Did I know about the grave on the wheat field? Nope. I knew that there was a second grave somewhere, but I actually had no idea where it was. I figured I would find it eventually, but I never found it. Alrighty, so this is it from me for now. I will have to go into a meeting, hopefully be able to stream afterwards again. So for now, thank you very much for watching, for listening and for looking, everybody. Thank you for hanging around, for being around, for being awesome one way or another. And well, maybe until next time. Take care. Thank you very much. I'm so refreshed.